we make this little pouch. You with me so far? Yeah. All right. Then, since they just boiled them, in a little, let me show you another one of these. Since they just boiled them in, uh, in a little salt water, what we're going to do is we're just going to kick them up a few notches. So you make this little pouch. And then what you can do is you can season them a little salt. You could use olive oil. But what I do, besides serving this butter on the side, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of that butter that we made. Oh, look. Oh, they're so happy right now. It's unbelievable. Oh, wait. I ain't done yet. Oh, no. You ain't seen nothing yet. See, I like them really good and juicy, too. Make them happy. All right, now, let's check on our Chipino here. Oh, look at this. Needs a couple more minutes. We're just going to give it a little quick shake like this. Okay? Oh, look at that, huh? Now, here's what we're going to do right at the end to finish this. We're going to do another little San Francisco treat. going to take some of that incredible sourdough bread that you have. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make some thin spears. Now, if you want to grill them, you can grill it. But I just like to just sort of have this like a giant crouton, if you will. Eh, why not? So now we've got that incredible San Francisco sourdough. Now we're going to take some fresh shucked oysters, like I said, right at the end. We'll add them right on the top over there. If you want to add that oyster water, that'll be fine, too. Oh, yeah, babe. All right, now, here's what we're going to do while we're letting that simmer. We're just going to sort of use these like little croutons on the side like this. Okay? Now, what I like to do when all that fish and shrimp are cooked, you just kind of get a little bit of the crab, see, like that. Get a little bit of that cooked fish, right? A little bit of the cooked fish with the mussels. Serve a little bit of that. Oh, yeah, a little... A little bit more of the mussels, right? Just a little bit like that. One more clam, a couple of shrimp, okay? Gonna let this next batch cook. I like to just garnish it with a little bit of green onions, a little parsley, also just a little essence, okay? We'll just, bam, just like that, just a little, little bam. And there you have it, a little tapino there, folks, right? There you go, a couple of forks. The beers are coming next. Now, when you get all of these packages done, then what you can do, and you get them all nice and buttery, right? Here, come with me, let me show you what you do. You put them on the grill. You see this? You put them on the grill, and what happens? This little butter, you hear it sizzling? starts to sizzle and it's getting even more happier and it's just like getting happier and happier and then what you can do either with more of that butter or what you can do with oh look at the flames in here oh my goodness it's a good thing I'm tight with the fire guys yeah my friend Rudy's here too I'm in good shape so
show you here. You see, and I got this made this great sauce. Maybe made too much smoke. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Boy, there's a lot of you guys here. I don't know if I got enough food. And they probably brought a lot of appetite. Oh, look, Leo, let me tell you this. I'm going to give you a little bit of this here. Toss a little tomato salad. When we come back, we're going to go.